Hey there, my name is Gary Sims and this is Gary Explains. What I have here on my wrist is the Bangle.js fully hackable open source smartwatch. I got it today, I've been playing with it and I want to give you a first look and an overview of this device. So if you wanna find out more, please let me explain. Okay, so here is the watch itself. It's waterproof, it's got a heart rate monitor underneath, you've got three buttons for doing all the navigation with the menus and it can detect a tap on the screen as well, I think on the left and the right hand side. Now what I'm gonna do, it's running here, is I'm gonna show you what happens if you do a soft reset. So we're gonna press these top two buttons together for six seconds, this performs a reset on the device. And now we can see what it's like to see it booting up and then it will come up with uh, no time because the time has gone from the reset. And that actually is a good chance to show you how you connect to the phone. Now here, I've got a smartphone, an Android smartphone, and I've opened a web browser to banglejs.com slash apps. And from within the web browser, you don't need to install an app from the app store, from within the web browser, you can connect to it over Bluetooth. So that's what I'm doing now. I'm saying I want to connect to that bangle over Bluetooth. And then they've got a really quick function. You can go to about and you can say, set the time. And so now the time has been set. And then when we press the top button here, we can see the time has been correctly set now, as well as the date. So it's a really quick way to get the date and time set correctly. And also shows you how you talk between a web browser and the uh, smartwatch. So the way it works is this, when the smartwatch is not on, you press the top button here to activate it. You press the middle button to get a menu and you can kind of go up and down inside the menu here. So for example, we can go into settings and then we can see the different things we can do in settings like turn the Bluetooth on and off, how long do you want the display to be on before it times out and all this kind of stuff. Lots of things to play around with in there, great stuff. Uh, and basically, uh, you can then install other apps. So you kind of get a default one, like you get the alarms, for example, but you can install other apps from this uh, website. So if we go over to the library here, for example, let's install something that's um, pretty easy to see. And there's one here called um, Bold Clock. There is an analog clock rather than digital clock. You just hit the upload button and it goes over onto the device, it only takes a few seconds because this is JavaScript. Now this is the main point of all of this is that you can write your own apps with JavaScript, which means it's relatively easy to do. You don't have to have a C compiler and then compile it and link it and have the SDK, just write it in JavaScript and then copy it over onto the phone. So now we can see here, you have, it says you have to press this button, uh, I think for three seconds, when you've, there you go. And now I've got an analog clock up there. Uh, and there are lots of different things that we can kind of, you know, install and play around with uh, on this device. So I think there is like some little games that we can play. So let's upload this T-Rex game. This is one of these, like that game you play inside the Chrome web browser when you're not connected to the internet properly. So this again just shows us that we can do whatever we want. You can write whatever apps you want to write. So we go to the menu, we scroll down here until we find a T-Rex and then we can select that. And now we've got a little game going. So you can write your own little games uh, on this smartwatch. You can do it however you want to do it. Oh, oh, am I gonna hit that? There you go, I died, there you go. I'm not very good at that game. Now, that's all fantastic. I wanna come back to some of the more fantastic things about this in a minute, but I just wanna say there are a couple of negative things. So let's just uh, go back to the main menu. Okay, and I want to first of all show you the uh, Torch app, which basically just turns all the pixels white. But what it shows you is this is not a very bright screen. And I've had trouble reading it outdoors, not even in bright sunlight, just outdoors in general. So that's a bit of a downside because of course the whole point of a watch is you can, you can look at it. And of course we do spend most of our time well, we used to spend a lot of time outdoors. Nowadays, we're all under kind of, you know, lockdown. But if we weren't going through the 2000, uh, 2020 thing that we're going through at the moment, then of course, we do use our watches outdoors and the display isn't that bright. And of course, I understand why, because of course, obviously they want to save on the battery uh, and having not such quite a bright display uh, helps with that. I'm just letting you know that. Doesn't affect the development, doesn't affect the fun you can have with this in terms of uh, writing your own apps for it and things, but it does affect its ability to be actually a good watch when you're outside. Now, the other thing is, again, another go to another uh, one here, is I could not get, there you go, GPS info, I could not get the GPS to work, whether I was indoors or outdoors, I couldn't get it to work, which means you're meant to be able to do like, you know, tracking, you go for a run and you can, and you can remember your coordinates and put those on maps and all this kind of stuff. 
that doesn't seem to be working. I will get in contact with the people to find out whether I'm doing something wrong. But on my initial uh, go around here, I couldn't get that to work. However, that's the negative stuff. But as I said, the positive stuff is that you've already got here this library of these great apps that you can all already run and install that can access things like the accelerometer and the heartbeat monitor and uh, all this other stuff. And you can write them, as I said, in JavaScript without needing a special SDK, without needing special compilers without needing to install a special app on your phone you just write some javascript and upload it and there is also an emulator that you can run so you can check that it's all working properly now i'm going to do a whole video on writing apps for this thing that's not what i'm doing today today i just want to show you how it basically worked and how you can get the best out of it just by installing apps on it and so on so there we go there's the basic uh the basic things you can do with it connect to it from the bluetooth browser you can oh i just hit that by mistake but you can actually connect things like a bluetooth keyboard i'm going to be trying that out i do have a bluetooth keyboard that's going to be fun to try out now uh one other thing to say is of course i'm going to be testing the battery life i'm going to be wearing this now as my main watch for the next week or so to see what the actual battery life is they are saying there's the battery widget there they are saying 20 days standby but of course every time the lcd is used every time the bluetooth is used you're using up more battery power so i'm going to wear it for a week and see actually how that goes okay that's it that's my first look at the bangle.js my name is gary sims this is gary explains i really hope you enjoyed the video if you did please do give it a thumbs up also why not stick around by subscribing to the channel okay that's it i'll see you in the next one